Hello Sagittarius, this is Julie with Into Heart Space with your mid-month checkup for August 2016. I am here just to give some added guidance and some added energy to the month. Um, I know that at the beginning of the month I had some issues with sound, so I hope I fixed it and I hope you can hear me just fine. If you can't, then just let me know and I'll continue to work on it. All right, so let's shuffle and see what added guidance and energy we need to send to Sagittarius. I also know that the lighting is going in and out at the beginning, but as soon as I set down the cards, the lighting will even out. So just close your eyes and listen to the shuffle. Um, what is the energy added guidance for Sagittarius for August? 2016 what additional energies messages do we need to give to Sagittarius for the remainder of August 2016 what do we need to say what do we need to hear feel for Sagittarius August 2016 um, when cards flip out, it's basically because of my shuffling, so I don't um, read read them that way. Because if they want to come out, they'll come out at the end. They always do. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first card is the overview, and we have two of cups. Then for love, we have the king of discs. For finance, we have temperance. For work, we have six of discs. And for family, we have three of wands. Okay. So um, with the overview being the two of cups, um, you could be coming together with someone, whether it's uh, romantically, um, with work, a friendship. Um, I, I feel like you're going to find a partnership that really means something to you, that really resonates with you. Um, you know, that this is, this is a, a soul connection. Um, and especially with um, the king of discs in the love position, I, I think whoever you're connecting with um, has this energy. So discs is also pentacles. This is Earth energy, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone who has those energies um, within their natal chart or are just exhibiting um, those kinds of energies right now. Um, so, you know, they're, they're a top-notch human that um, is probably um, well-versed in um, their occupation, um, you know, has an amazing work ethic um, and is, um, looks to be really steady in the earthly realm. Um, sometimes can be a little cold in that regards, um, kind of like can be kind of a miser, but um, a miser with good intentions of saving for the future. So um, I feel like, um, you know, if this person isn't coming in, then you are exhibiting these these feelings, and that you are um, walking in a very strong um, state right now when it comes to relationships, and with a very steady um, a steady mind. Um, all right. So then, in finances, we have temperance. So this is just um, asking us to make sure that you find balance within. Um, your finances and if you haven't then I think you are going to find it um, and also to make sure that you are balancing all aspects of your life so I mean um, it's I'm looking at this this trilogy um, the two of cups temperance and six of discs 
and in all in all of them is a, a sense of balance and the two of cups the two cups making sure that everyone um, has enough to drink temperance pouring the cups into one another so that they're equal and then we have the balance in the six of discs um, making sure that you know knowledge is given to everyone around in a fair in a fair um, way. So I think that's what that's kind of the the theme for um, the end of August is that you um, Sagittarius you you know you are always excited to go out into the world and create something new um, and for the better of of everyone involved. Um, so just make sure that you're not financially giving too much in a way, um, that you are um, finding that balance or that you're not, um, you know, going out, giving too much um, in your financial realm to uh, your partner. Um, yes, and then also that you're not, you know, um, yeah, so that you're not um, feeling like stretched out, that you're not feeling um, that you are lacking. Um, I also wanted, I, I had a moment there, sorry, um, that was of silence uh, because I was looking at this king of discs and I was thinking of partners, that this, for some reason, I felt like the king of discs were both of you if you are uh, married or in a very secure um, union then I feel like you both are exhibiting the feeling of king of discs that you both are very strong in yourself and that this is a great time to um, to share that with one another and um, and it, it just felt really beautiful for a moment so um, I feel like you guys are going to be caring for each other um, and showing it in relationships um, and if you aren't, then may maybe that's because it, it, you need to seek the balance of yourself first. All right, so in work and occupation, we have the six of discs. So, so um, this is, you know, giving back to your, to your coworkers, giving back to your occupation. Um, so if you are in the fields of, um, I'm just thinking of, you know, grant writers, I'm thinking of um, nonprofits, like this always just kind of reminds me of nonprofits. Um, so if you're in that type of field, um, I, I feel like people are going to actually hear what you have to say and that um, it's a great time to um, put yourself out there um, because you have been cultivating yourself very well and will be well received. Um, if you're, you know, in law, then, you know, if somebody comes to you asking for a pro bono, um, then this might be a time to consider that. Um, not saying everything pro bono, but you have a lot to offer and there are people who are in need of your services. Um, and if you are just starting a new business, I think people will be coming to you and you will be, um, be, be able to fulfill their needs, which is wonderful. Um, with family, we have the three of wands, so I'm wondering if you are missing your family, if you are, um, you're, you feel kind of far away from, from those you love, that you, you feel like you don't have your, um, your support group right now, whether it be actual family or a tribe you have created. Um, and if that's the case, know that they, they are there. They are there and if you can't see them, they are still emotionally part of you and they love you and they care about you. And um, I keep hearing, um, the sun is not setting, the sun is rising. Um, yeah. And I think that's what this is right here, that this is rising, that this isn't setting, that it's coming up on a new day. Um, and that, that y you know, the joy and the light is coming. Um, okay, so Sagittarius, lovely, lovely. If you want to continue this reading, feel free to contact me uh, at my website. Just leave a, um, a message, send it to me, and we can set up 
uh, a reading for you, um, leave some times and dates, and I'll get back to you and we can set that up. Also, you can find me on Facebook under HeartSpace, and we can stay in touch uh, with astrological musings and tarot little love things as well. All right, thanks Sagittarius. Love and blessings.